Good morning. Well, don't you think it's about time we got the devil discouraged and we stop being discouraged, especially when persecution comes, especially when people say things about us and say things falsely about us. And you know that Jesus has given us exactly what to do in those circumstances. In those amazing uh, teachings in Matthew 5, Jesus clearly gives us instruction. And in Matthew 5, verses 10 to 12, it says this, Blessed, and I will repeat that, Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when men shall revile you and persecute you and say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Now listen to verse 12. This is Jesus speaking. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets which went before them. Now, if you look at what Jesus is saying here, he's given us the most incredible and powerful way to deal with persecution and when people speak falsely about you. And it's definitely contrary to normal thinking. Normally, we would think of taking vengeance or uh, being down or discouraged when people persecute us or slander us. But if Jesus, our Savior, gave us these instructions, then guess what? <clears throat> it will work. So let's take note and let's take careful note of what Jesus said here. It's actually the secret to overcoming persecution. And the devil hates us being aware of this. He is totally devastated when we actually put these words of Jesus into action. <clears throat> you see, when persecution comes against you, or people falsely say things against you for the kingdom of God, you are not to be depressed. You are not to be angry. And you're not to be discouraged. Jesus is saying, we are to rejoice and be glad. And not just glad, but exceedingly glad. Why? Because great is your reward in heaven. In Luke's gospel, it actually puts it this way. Rejoice in that day and leap for joy. Have a good jump and praise God and glorify God. And you know what happens? You can't be rejoicing and shouting praises to God and leaping for joy and be depressed and discouraged at the same time. Praise God. When you do what Jesus said, something happens in your spirit and your soul, and you cannot be depressed or discouraged. And when you do this, you totally upset the devil's plans. He thinks that persecution and when people say things against you falsely, and man, as Christians, we experience that. So often we say, oh, you're supposed to be a Christian, or things get thrown at us. The devil wants us to get discouraged. The devil wants us to feel depressed or unworthy and stop us from enjoying our full life and purpose in Christ Jesus and fulfilling our calling and purpose. But if you do and you believe what Jesus said, and rejoice, and shout out, praise God, I'm blessed. Why don't you just do that now, wherever you are? Just say, praise God, I'm blessed, no matter what is coming up against you, no matter what the devil is throwing at you. You know, persecution comes in different forms. It can be doubt, it can be fear, it can be sickness, it can be all sorts of things. Just praise God that you are blessed, and that you have the victory, and that you're an overcomer. You see, then you will be blessed. Because that's what Jesus said. And your focus is on your great reward in heaven and not what's happening on earth. Your reward in Christ, but in heaven, great is going to be your reward. And you know what? The devil is going to be the one who is totally discouraged. You see, the devil sends persecution to us to stop us from fulfilling God's purpose and discourage us, and making us feel down, and ask questions, and wonder why, and then our mind runs wild. But he does not send it to think that we're going to take it as a blessing, 
and praise God for it and rejoice and actually leap for joy, have a jump for joy. And you know what? I've done that. I've done it often where you run and you jump even though you don't feel like it and you praise God and you praise Him and you bless Him and uh, you'll just see how good you'll feel. And you know what? That totally frustrates the devil. It upsets his apple cart totally and he's frustrated and he's the one who will end up being discouraged. So I want to encourage you right now. Won't you declare this with me? What Jesus told us in Matthew 5. And you can say it after me or listen to it and just say it with me. I rejoice and am exceedingly glad when I'm persecuted for righteousness sake. For the kingdom of heaven is mine and great is my reward in heaven. Praise God. You know what happens, man? The devil just gets so discouraged, upset, he just pushes off and your spirit is built up and you're blessing God. And you're honoring God by honoring the words that Jesus spoke. So don't, don't fear persecution. Jesus said you're blessed. And I just want to re repeat that first verse. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Isn't that a wonderful thing? Right from the heart of our Savior Jesus. And, um, and, and even when men say things against us and come up against us as Christians and slander us. You know what? Don't feel bad. You are the son and daughter of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And therefore, you need to rejoice. They came against Jesus. They persecuted him. We're not going to be exempt from that. But remember, Jesus counted the pure joy to go to the cross. And yeah, he says to us, rejoice and be exceeding glad. Leap for joy, for great is your reward in heaven. What more could we ask for? So don't let the devil win the battle. I want to challenge you this morning that you, you get the devil discouraged for a change and you take Christ's word, put it into action, get some joy in your life. You, you know what? I think it's about time some of us did just jump around a bit and praise God and lifted our hands and worshipped him. So you will not get discouraged. You will not get depressed when persecution comes up against you. You will rejoice. You will be glad. And you will totally discourage the devil. Come on, church. Let's do that. Let's see the victory that's ours when we rejoice in God and live that blessed, victorious life in Jesus. So again, I say to you, rejoice. No wonder Paul wrote from prison. In prison, he wrote, rejoice. And again, I say, rejoice. Because he understood they'd thrown him in prison. They were persecuting him. But he knew if he rejoiced, because the kingdom of heaven was his, he would be blessed. So be blessed, rejoice, and have the victory. And I trust you're going to have an awesome Wednesday and a blessed rest of the week. And we'll see you Sunday. So take care, look after yourself, guard your heart, and God bless you.